Hi, I'm Dr. Count. Uh, I'm a uh, physician for Care New England. I work at the uh, Department of Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine for the Care New England. I'm currently serving as the Director of Sports Medicine. One of the reasons I chose to enter the field of primary care sports medicine is that it allowed me a chance to merge my love for medicine as well as my passion for sports. Typically, I think patients, when they come to us to see us and seek out care, are complaining of two things, either one, uh, pain and discomfort, uh, but also a lot of times associated with that, or even on its own, will be functional limitations. You know, they are finding that they're not able to continue to do, whether it's activities of daily living versus their chosen sports or vocation. Injuries in general are pretty consistent throughout the year. What's interesting is that there's slight peaks and valleys with regards to certain sports. Yeah, during the winter months, skiing and skating being you know, uh, heavy sports, uh, we tend to see a fair number of injuries with regards to traumatic type of injuries, uh, especially with regards to skiing. So a lot of ACL type injuries uh, slash ligamentous injuries of the knee, um, as well as shoulder injuries, including rotator cuff disorders, as well as shoulder dislocations, are probably commonplace injuries that spike a bit in the winter months. Um, you know, the other sports that are kind of common uh, in the winter months include basketball, swimming as well. So from a scholastic standpoint, we tend to see a fair number of ankle injuries in addition to overuse shoulder injuries, including rotator cuff tendonitis. I think it's important for patients in an, in an attempt to try to minimize the chances of coming to see us and, and uh, suffering an injury, it's very important for preparation. Uh, and what I mean by that is I think, you know, gearing up and being prepared for the sport or chosen activity that they want to do. Um, an example would be skiing. Skiing is a very heavy dependent in terms of the lower extremities and quad strengthening and lower extremity strengthening has been shown to kind of diminish the uh, risk of injury. Uh, with the given sport. So I think that preparation is probably the key and acknowledging limits uh, is also very, very important for patients. Um, setting reasonable goals um, I think would be a, a tenant I would like patients to kind of think about as they approach various seasons. I think the most common question you get from a patient when they come in is, uh, besides what is wrong with me, is when am I going to be able to resume my activity? You know, everything's on a timeline, and I think that uh, it's very important to uh, help answer the patients with, besides giving them a diagnosis and a treatment plan, is to give them a reasonable expectation with regards to a timeline of recovery from the uh, injury. Uh, patients are referred to our practice through a multitude of different uh, uh, sites, if you will, in terms of uh, primary care physicians typically refer to our practice. However, I think the most common I, I, what I believe is the most common way people come to our practice is word of mouth. I think it's other patients. During a first appointment at our office, um, I think the reasonable expectation of the patient is that they will be given a proposed diagnosis as well as a both diagnostic as well as a therapeutic plan of action in order to address uh, the underlying issues. Access is, as I stated earlier, availability is one of the keys and the hallmarks with regards to treatment. Um, so we do have same-day appointments in addition to we promptly try to see all the patients, you know, within a reasonable time period. My name is Razib Count. I am a primary care non-operative sports medicine physician for the Care New England Department of Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine.